I'm Molly McHugh with Digital Trends and I'm going to take you hands on with the Nikon Coolpix P510. This is their new ultra zoom and it's packed with features. It's got a very angle tilt lens that comes out, GPS, panorama shooting, 3D shooting, and of course it's got its 42 times optical zoom. So we're going to look a little bit closer at some of those features. Before we look at some of the flashier features of the P510, I want to show you the user interface and how you navigate the camera. It's an easy process even though there are plenty of manual controls for shooters to experiment with. For the most part, you'll use the top mode dial to determine your settings and it's really option heavy. So you have preset scenes, auto, backlighting, aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, etc. The preset scenes are decent, but for impressive quality shots, you're really going to want to exercise the camera's full capabilities in manual, where you can really see the P510's 16.1 megapixel CMOS sensor do some work. The built-in effects are fairly disappointing. We're seeing camera makers get more creative here, and that's not really the case with the P510's limited offerings. On the other hand, there's plenty about the hardware to show off. The P510 has a really nice feel to it. This obviously isn't a camera you're going to slip into your pocket, but the sizable grip means you can grab it with one hand really easily. It's also surprisingly lightweight for its looks. Don't get too overwhelmed by what might look like a ridiculous amount of buttons and switches on this thing either. There's a really nice learning curve to getting a lot of use out of this camera, and more experienced users will find themselves warming up to it quickly, and beginners will be able to start slow and get more and more use out of it over time without any real frustration. The back of the chassis isn't overly crowded, even though it has a 3-inch LCD display. This is a great feature for super zooms. Popping the display out and up means you always see what you're shooting regardless of lighting or environment. Purists will love that the camera comes with an electronic viewfinder. You can toggle focus and switch between it and the screen via a button on the left-hand side. It's not the most sophisticated solution. Right now, that would be found in the hybrid viewfinder starting to crop up in higher tier models but the option is there. Last but not least, we have to look at the 42 times optical zoom on the P510. It's incredibly smooth even while filming, although it doesn't refocus as well as you might hope. It's worth noting there's an option for toggling slower zooming for video capture. When it comes to stills, it's a really impressive lens, especially considering the fact that it's housed in such a relatively compact, lightweight body. So that's a quick look at the Nikon Coolpix 510 and you can check out the review for more.